What's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Martha Messenger. We're back in another video. Uh, this is a, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video about heaven. So I came up with 10 things and facts about heaven. Some of this stuff, guys, it might surprise you. I know number six. Number six is going to surprise many people. Su su surprise myself, too. So I'm excited to make this video. And before I even start this video, it's, it's a verse in Corinthians. that talks about eye has not seen, no ear has heard, no has entered to the heart of man that what God has prepared for us. So we could only know what, God, what heaven's going to be like according to the Bible, according to the scriptures. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, number one is that we will not miss our old lives, our old fleshly and worldly lives, okay? There's a verse in Ecclesiastes I was reading a couple of hours ago. It talks about how there's no remembrance of former things. So we're not going to remember the times of when we when we lost our house, when we lost this and that. Uh, we know the sorrow in our life. We're not going to remember the times where we were getting high, we were getting drunk, we were fornicating. We're not going to, or watching porn. We're not going to be remembering that. All that is old, bro. We're not going to remember any of that. You know, so that's why I tell people all the time, like, we should be focusing on the kingdom of heaven. We should not be focused on these earthly lives because um, even Jesus told us that, you know, story for your treasures in heaven. We're not, all this stuff in this earth, guys, it's all going to be vanish away. We're not going to remember the thing. So always understand that we should be keeping our eyes on the kingdom of heaven and we should be seeking the kingdom of God and God's righteousness every single day. Number two is God will wipe away our tears there will be no more sadness, no more sickness, and no more pain, okay? There will be no such thing as a disease. There will be no, no no plagues, no sicknesses, no tears, no sadness, no sorrow, no heartbreaks. Even the Bible says, I should have made that number 10. The Bible says, I had no space. That's why I asked. So number 10 would be that there's going to be no more marrying, okay? There's going to be no more husband and wife, or Jesus will be our, you know, our, the bride to them. But there will be no more uh marriage and having the bible talks about that I'll leave a verse right here people have been asking me about that verse and that verse is pretty clear there's gonna be no marriage so yeah so i, I didn't have no space guys so yeah that's what number, number 10 will be just pop it in mind right now okay so number three would be we will receive new heavenly bodies okay um we're gonna have heavenly bodies and those bodies that those heavenly bodies we receive guys we won't be subject to sin we won't be subjected to you know like now guys like say we're in the spirit our, we're still in you know in the fleshly body, so our flesh is worn against our spirit. So our flesh wants to go against God. Our flesh wants to sin. You know, our flesh you know gets sick, eventually vanishes away. But those new heavenly bodies that God has prepared for us, it won't be subject to that. So that's the thing. That's why we're not going to be and when we get those new bodies, we're not going to be remembering the times where we were living a life of sin. We're not going to be remembering any of that. So yes, God will give us new bodies. And um, yeah, man, so we won't be like, we will be like how Adam and Eve were before uh, Eve did what she did, before Adam did what they, we know what they did, what they did in the garden, okay? We're going to be like that. We're going to be immortal, okay? Number four, we're going to be created in God's image. Okay, number four is we will live in mansions, okay? Jesus promised us that um, there's many mansions, okay? So those who make it, those who do the will of God, those who make it to heaven, those who make it to the kingdom of God, we're going to have many mansions that, uh, they have, that God has prepared for us, okay? And I believe, guys, this is my belief. Remember, I know the Bible does say, I, I has not seen, you know, someone's going to say that in comments. I know that, but if, 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 I could, if I could imagine, I will believe that heaven, like literally, we're going to be walking on gold. You know, it's crazy because you have people out here, guys, who would still kill someone for gold, but in heaven, we're literally going to be walking on it. I feel like that's, like, you know, over here, like there's like cement, you know, it's like, you know, carpet and stuff like that. But in heaven, I feel like it's just going to be straight gold. Okay. Now, like I said, I know that there's no Bible scripture to back it up, but it's just my, if, if I would imagine heaven, that's how I would imagine. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What would you imagine how heaven will be like? But that's what I would say. So this would be many mansions. Um, the houses, you know how the houses we have now, it gets old. You know, we got to, you got to have a re-repairment. There's going to be new houses, but in heaven, nothing gets old. Okay. Store up your treasures in heaven. We're neither moth or corrupt. Or thieves break in. There will be no thieves. No one to steal. You can leave your door open. Uh, let's say you might have something. Because I believe there will be cars in heaven. I think there will be like horses and stuff like that. Okay. You can leave your car door open and have a lot of objects in it. You don't have to worry. You don't have to, you know, see if someone's going to steal. We don't have to deal with that in heaven, man. We don't have to deal with that. Number five is we will eat and be in joy. Okay. Luke chapter 22, verse 30. Jesus says that you, should, you shall eat with me in, in his kingdom. Okay. So... We're going to be eating and enjoying. Now, some people tell me, no, Mark, we're not going to be eating meat. Uh, it's going to be, someone says it's going to be vegetarian food. And regardless of what we eat, as long as we can eat some non-GMO grapes, <laughs> we, can, we don't have to worry about the GMO, the soy, the pesticides, all the poison in the food that we're eating here in America. 
I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with that. So I, w I wouldn't mind. I think we'll have lamb, you know, because the Passover, I think, you know, I think we'll be eating meat. Uh, now, like I said, I could be wrong about that. So don't be like, oh, you're a false prophet. You know, like, but I believe that like, into the Passover, you know, who knows? Maybe we might celebrate that in heaven. So if, if we do, there'll be like lamb. Okay. So, uh, but like I said, if it's just, if it's just fruits, I'll be happy with that too. I'll be happy with that too. Number six. Oh, this is the, this is what's going to shock me. And it's going to surprise you too. It's going to surprise me too. All right, heaven will be full of people. You thought you were going to hell. Yes, guys. Heaven will be full of people. And the people you thought were going to heaven, they're going to be in hell, okay? Uh, even Jesus says, I'll leave a verse right here. It talks about how, um, I'll leave a verse right there. It talks about, Jesus talks about how people, they were in the streets, street preaching, okay? They appeared to be holy unto man, righteous unto man, okay? But Jesus is going to tell them, uh, depart from me, ye curse, into the everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels the pharisees they thought they were righteous okay they thought that they were they were on their way to the kingdom of heaven but they were they were doing the opposite they had pride in their heart had no love for their neighbor no love for their brother and sister okay so heaven will guys it's gonna surprise you right it's gonna be full of people you thought you never thought would go to heaven okay and hell will be full, people will full, be full of people who you thought were going to heaven Telling you guys, telling you guys, I could see it. I, now I know the Bible's what someone's gonna say. No, no, no man has seen. I know, but I could just, I could see it, guys. Because even this verse, that verse I just showed, backs it up. Okay, number seven. Well, God will make a new heaven and a new earth. Yes. Okay. Um. So a new heaven. Or new, so I wonder how the new earth is gonna be like. Is it gonna be like the earth we're living in now? So that's a good question. But it talks about that in Revelation chapter twenty-one, verse one, how there will be, that God will create a new heaven and a new earth. Okay, so um, I'll leave a verse right there so you guys can see it. All right, number eight. Now, this is going to be a question, guys. Like, I was actually just reading this last year uh, multiple times. And it says that there are three levels of heaven. Okay, so if there's three levels of, he of heaven, right, that means there must be a first level and a second level and a third level. Okay, and the Bible talks about there's the kingdom of Christ and then the kingdom of God. So these are some just interesting facts. And I would love to see, like, is a third heaven for those who actually do the will of God, the ones who put in more work? Is a second level for those who were to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, but they backslided? Uh, is a first level for people who believed in Jesus, but were living a life of disobedience? So it's just some things that we could, you know, God hasn't gave me any revelations about that yet, but that's something that I could imagine if there are, if it's in, you know, three levels of heaven, the first level, the second level, and the third level will be like, and the Bible says that Jesus will give every man according to his works. Okay, so number nine is heaven won't have many people. And uh, that correlates with number six. Heaven won't have many people. The Bible says that many are called, few are chosen. Okay, only few are chosen into life, eternal life, into eternal life through Christ. Okay, only few are willing to deny themselves, pick up the cross daily, and follow Christ. Even the Bible says that he who does the will of God shall abide forever. Look around, guys. Look around outside. Who's really doing the will of God? You know? Do you look at your family member, your, your friends? Okay, who he who does the will of God shall abide forever. There's not many people, guys, that's doing that. And that's just a sad truth. Even Jesus says, you know, many are called, few are chosen. What does that mean, guys? The people who are called, okay, they're they're called to follow Christ. They're called to deny themselves. They're called to pick up their cross. They're called to be a follower of Christ. Okay. And only few, as I said, few are chosen because only few are willing to, you know, do do what it has to do, you know, to, to, to deny themselves. To do whatever the master, you know, Jesus says to do. Okay, now I know it says no, don't call no one a master, but but God, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so understand that many are called, few are chosen. All right, heaven won't have many people, guys. So these are ten facts. Like I said, number ten, guys, is that there's going to be no marriage in heaven. All right, number so these are ten things and facts about heaven. Number one, we will not miss our fleshly, worldly lives. Number two, as God will wipe away our tears, there will be no more sadness, sickness, and pain, etc. There will be no more porn, no more smoking weed. No more getting drunk. All that's going to be gone, guys. Number three will be we will receive new heavenly bodies. Number four is we will live in mansions. Number five is we will eat and be in joy. Number six is heaven will be full of people you thought were going to hell. Number seven is God will make a new heaven and a new earth. Number eight is there are three levels of heaven. Number nine is heaven won't have many people. All right. Love you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share this on all social media platforms. If you haven't already, make sure you guys check out that Instagram right here. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.